Hi everybody, Miss Isha is here with a story about a fierce animal. It's about dragon. The name of the story is The Trouble with Dragons. It's written by D.B. Cleary. Let's read the story. The trouble with dragons is dragons make dragons and they make some more till there are wall to wall dragons making dragons galore. Do you want to see? There's so many dragons here. The dragons start spreading all over the place. Soon their houses and roads take up all of the space. Oh, as if dragons are trying to take the planet. Can you see? Let's turn the page. What can you see here? Dragons eat all the food and drink all the drink and use everything up without stopping to think. They also throw parties and make loads of noise and leave a huge mess after playing with their toys. You want to see what's happening here? They are all over the place, making a mess, but enjoying themselves. Let's turn the page. What is happening here? Let's see. Dragons chop down the forest, which melts both the poles and puncture the atmosphere full of big holes. Dragons blow out hot air which makes everything hotter and hotter. Oh my god, until all the snow melts and the ice turns to water. Can you see? What is going to happen? The snow is melting. Then the seas start to rise and desert expand until everything is covered in water or sand. Say goodbye to the world into which you were born. Soon everyone else will have packed up and gone. Do you think humans would be able to survive in this planet? Their dragons are all over the place. Oh, it seems there is no hope. How to deal with these dragons? Can you suggest something? Let's see what is happening. Look here. Seems dragons are bossy, trying to take over everything. Everyone except the dragons, poor dragons, imagine a world with no birds. No bees, just dragons as far as a dragon can see. Don't go, wail the dragons. Don't leave us alone. A world without wildlife is no kind of home. Now they don't want wildlife to go anywhere. They want everything to be seen. But they are not realizing that their existence is making everybody go out of this place. What's happening here? If you say we all promise to do what it takes to look after the planet for all of our sake. As the waters rose higher, right over their knees, a voice said, Okay, start by not chopping down trees. Now they heard a voice that says, if you want to help the planet, 
then don't chop off the trees then all of the animals chimed in with advice from the greatest of the elephants to the smallest of the mice everybody agreed to what not chopping off the trees that is great then what happens eat food that is grown much closer to home and leave the wild places and ice caps alone now the voice says eat food that is grown much closer to home okay and they have to leave ice caps and the wildlife alone so that everybody can survive stop blowing all that hot air but instead choose to walk now they are supposed to stop blowing that hot blowing fire instead and they have to choose to walk and put less of our world on the end of your fork hmm would dragons be able to do this can you see and then what happens can you see a beautiful world again respect all earth's creatures and cherish the land recycle reuse and reduce your demands wow i think these steps would make the world a better place don't you think can you see how dragons are making peace with all the creatures living on the planet and they are helping to decrease the pollution and help reuse and recycle the things so the planet is less messy so if you know a dragon and most of us too ask it if it thinks that this story is true <laughs> for if we can't see that our stories are linked then sadly like dragons we'll soon be extinct do you think this story has some truth do you if you think that what is said and what is told in the story is not true then we will soon be extinct like dragons this was the end of the story i hope you like this story do let me know what did you learn from the story and how you can help the planet to heal herself to them take care bye bye